In this part, we are going to talk about an important MVC concept, view models. A view model in ASP.NET Core MVC is simply another class that is used to organize and send data to the view. By using view models, you ensure that only the necessary data is sent to the view. To better understand this concept, let us go to Visual Studio and see it in action. So here in Visual Studio, in last part, we created this list, but in this list, we did use the model class. And we did say that the model class is a class that is used to interact with the database. So you can use the model class to send some data to the database and also to get some data from the database. But in here, we used this model to create a list and also pass some data to the view. Here on the view, we didn't use all the properties of the model, but we used just ID, original link, and all these other properties, but we didn't use properties like, for example, date created and date updated. What this means is that right now, to the view, we are sending even data that we are not rendering in the view. So what this means is that now we need to create another class or another model that we are going to use to pass data from the controller to the view. And these classes are named view models. So as the name already indicates, it's like a model, but it's not used to get or to send data to a database, but it's used to get or to send data to a view. For that, let us go to the Solution Explorer. And in here, I'll just go to the data folder. And in here, I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to name this folder the view models. And then I'm going to create a class. And I'm going to name this class get URL VM and VM stands for view model. Now inside the view model, we said that we are going to have only the properties that we are going to use in the view. So I'll just go to the model. I'll just going to copy all these properties that I need, a control C and then just paste them in here. It's going to save the changes and then go back to the URL controller. And then in here, simply change the URL to be get URL VM, change these values as well. We are going to pass now a list of get URL VM to the view. And then I'll just go to the index.c sharp HTML. And here I'm going to now change the model from a list of URLs to a list get URL VM. And then here we are going to get an error because we have not defined that we want to use this view model. Now, if you want to define it in the namespace level, we have said that you can just go to the solution explorer and then here go to views, view imports, and then down here add another using statement client.data.view models. And then if you go back to the index.c sharp HTML, you can see that the error is gone. So you can see that to use or to create view models, all you do is you just create another C sharp class, but you define only the properties that you're going to render on this view. So let me just run the app to see if we have the same result. And then in here, if I just go to links, you can see that I have the same result, but now we are sending only the data that we need.